Hey, you are welcome to Global Christian Update TV. We are here with updates from uh, China. Today is the 28th day of November 2022. Currently, China, uh, China major cities across China, is boiling as a uh, protest mount. Uh, the protesters uh, increases and uh, they are mounting pressure on the government because the people. You know, I've been observing strict uh, COVID-19 restrictions. Businesses shut down. You know, people kept in the house and they are tired and they are hungry. And uh, the Chinese people have taken to the street of China to protest heavily. The protest is mounting, uh, you know, momentum as more protesters are joining. And uh, the Chinese government has continued on the crackdown, arresting journalists not to be able to report what is happening to keep the the people away from the knowledge of the evil that is going on the protesters are actually calling uh, on the on the chinese uh, president to resign and uh, to leave their uh, their government because they are tired of uh, the strict uh, covid-19 uh, regulations and uh, so many things that are that are put in place by the government it's a terrible situation i think uh, journalists of different uh, Foreign journalists and local journalists are, are being cracked down on, and the protesters, the the security forces are really, really cracking down, arresting, torturing, and taking protesters to unknown destination. And at the cost of this, some have also died, and uh, the protest is not uh, getting better in any way. And uh, this is going to continue. The people have vowed to continue because they are tired of staying indoor, businesses closed, and various restrictions that the government of, of China has put in place to be able to, you know, you know, you know, oppress the people because the way it's going, it's actually a, a kind of an oppression. And I want to believe that uh, from what we see in uh, Ukraine and Russia war, nobody talks about COVID-19 in those two places. Uh, people are running from Ukraine to Poland, uh, you know, to seek asylum in different neighboring countries. We've not heard anything. So how come... Is there anything? Is there anything that we need to know more about this COVID nineteen, or is it that is a deliberate at attempt by the government of the nations to be able to control, you know, their citizens? You know, the Communist Party of uh, of China is actually a kind of an autocratic and a tyrannic government that uh, has no respect. They have no respect for protesters. They they will do everything possible. It's going to be hard, but the people are bent on uh, on having their way. So let's keep uh, watching events as it keeps happening. We will continue to bring you live updates as it continues. But I know the people really want to, they are tired. And you know, Chinese government will, will not stand this uh, protest. So they will do everything possible to crack down on the people because the number of people that are arrested so far, is uh, the number is growing, seriously growing. The, the crackdown is mounting pressure. Let's see how it's going to go. So please uh, continue to link up to the global Christian update uh, you know facebook page so that we can be giving you update of what is happening please you have to you know follow follow also that uh, each time we upload and we'll bring update from what is happening across the globe you can uh, be informed and then uh, on the issue of uh, russia ukraine war the war is still there ukraine is still uh, pushing russia out of the territory that they have occupied and the uh, ukraine is making advancement and russia have continued you know, in their bombardment, you know, in their missile bombardment, you know, because they have long-range missiles, you know, you know, bombarding Ukraine, damaging facilities, but we are just grateful because uh, more countries are pledging and are mobilizing to bring more drones to be able to, you know, defend and then, uh, you know, defend those uh, uh, drones uh, coming into Russia now to be able to, I mean, uh, into Ukraine, be able to defend Ukraine against the missile attack of Russia. So let's continue to put our eyes on what is happening across the globe. And in America, pressure is mounting, you know, against Donald Trump, you know, in his, in his uh, you know, calculated attempt to come back for 2024 election in the U.S. So let's keep our eye across and see what is happening. In Nigeria, P2B is gaining more ground by the day. The popularity, you know, he's uh, becoming more popular. More people are like, uh, are, are getting to know that this is the most competent uh, you know, uh, I mean, a uh, president of Nigeria will ever get. But uh, on the other hand, uh, we see the man, Tunubu, Bola Ahmed Tunubu of the APC, 
making more mistakes by the day, committing more blunders. You know, as it goes out, every outing, there is there is one error that uh, auto the auto area or uh, the same thing is happening at Tiku Camp. At Tiku Camp have remained divided. You say Wiki and the the five uh, is it five G is it five uh, G five governors and the rest of them they take they say this they call them integrity. You know, you know, you know, you know camp. So let's see what happens. But we know that at the long run, you know, the Lord Himself will take over as we continue to pray and continue to mobilize. So the world is not uh, things are happening everywhere. But we trust God that uh, as we keep praying, as we keep trusting the Lord, the Lord will perfect all that consigns our nations. So let's keep our let's keep our fingers across and then let's keep watching and see how the whole thing is going to go. I know definitely the COVID nineteen uh, agenda is all already failing, but these people are bent on continuing. So let's see what happens as we continue to keep keep eye on the global event. God bless you. Reporting live from the Global Christian Update Decks. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to share. Like.